Okay, so this is microalgae. I'm growing microalgae here in the facility. So I can start, I got one, two, three, four cones. I got more cones up there that I need to set up. But what I'm, going, what I'm doing is uh, I'm growing microalgae to feed the filter feeders, feed coral with natural food. Microalgae basically is the beginning of the food chain in the ocean. So this will feed small fish, and then the small fish feed big fish, so on and so on. Uh, I'll be using this to, to ship to Europe for people that need microalgae, or if you want to feed something natural to your tank, if you have sponge, if you want to stimulate sponges, if you have dendroneftias, uh, like chili coral, uh, gorgonias, they also like it. If you have filter feeders like the, the sea cucumbers, uh, that always grabbing if you have feather dusters they like to eat that um, and this is uh, it's it's natural so but I'm also going to be doing uh, uh, I'm going to set up I'll be setting up um, a fish farm here with clownfish so one of the systems I'm going to convert it to a, a, a coral a fish farm so I'll need the microalgae to feed the rotifers and then the copepods I'll also be growing couple pots here, so eventually it will be available in the website. And but the microalgae will be available in the website very, mm, very soon. I just need to have some kind of bottles and labels, stuff like that. But very, very happy. So a lot more to do, but it, it, it's getting there. So right now, what happens as it gets darker? I do. It's called the feed uh, the the patch. It's called met the batch method, so uh, I put the nutrients, light, um, I'm just using air, but I can, can also inject CO2 to, if I want it to grow faster, and it gets green, dilutes, put more nutrients, and uh, it just keeps growing like that, but uh, yeah, stay tuned.